مدرسة الصوفية مدرسة التصوف وقلنا هنعمل على ابن سبعين هنشوف المنطقة بتاعت ابن سبعين كويس كويس ده كل ده طبعا كل العلماء اللي عاشوا في ريقوت عندنا ابن ريقوتي ابن سبعين ابن عربي المرسي ابو العباس وغيرهم المرسي ابو العباس احتمال كبير هو ولد في ريقوت او قضى الكثير من الوقت فيها بسبب المدرسة Native work is all about what it is to be Middle Eastern, what it is to be Arab, what it is to be African, Egyptian, uh, Middle Eastern today in post-September 11 world. I've, in, the, in the history of Alexandria, there is a Murthian figure, a very important Murthian Sufi figure, uh, who, um, who has a shrine and a massive mosque in Alexandria. He's principally the principal Sufi figure in Egypt. His name is Abu Abbas al murthy um, or Abu Abbas al Morsi, uh, Abu Abbas who comes from Murthia. My research was about one person. I discovered at least 15 people who came from this valley, moved throughout North Africa, ended either in Alexandria or Cairo. Uh, some of them stayed, some of them passed into what is now Saudi Arabia. Others passed into Damascus like Ibn Arabi, like the guru of Sufism probably in history. So my work took shape almost like three months ago. It was divided into a video piece two radio programs, one guided tour to the prison that I was supposed to show there, but we moved to Los Molinas for curatorial reasons, um, and a series of talks that tackle all this idea of history. The video piece uh, constitutes between 25 and 30%, 33% of my work for Manifesta. Journalism to me is the people who create the news, who tell stories, and they come forward through media through media channels such as print or today video or web or whatever. What exactly is, how would you describe this aesthetic journalism? Is it about, is it journalism that is about aesthetics? Or is it journalism that is well written? Or is it journalism that is taking on a specific dynamic within artistic production? Uh, to me, um, the information is uh, clear. Uh, image is beautiful. Uh, I weave it in a, in, in a way that is personal, yet at the same time, aesthetism is um, absolutely uh, paramount. I think you could call this film for some sort of like a emotional journalism. So that as a visitor, I would be really engaged trying to work out what this is instead of him literally just narrating it to me like a, like a fact. Boundary pushing, I don't see very much, but I see that what you're saying is he has many ways in. To me, a criticism that I should take care of is that that belongs or um, falls under Peter Drucker, the theorist of 1952, who invented the theory of management by objective, that every objective should be smart, specific, measurable, action-oriented, realistic, and time -bound. So when I get a critique that is uh, not edgy, I need to understand first, because edgy is not smart. It's not specific, not measurable, not action-oriented, and not um, consequently not realistic, and since it lacks the time bound, so to me, this criticism I take as second. But I need criticism, you know, like the, the criticism that I benefit from is like, for instance, redundant. Redundant is specific and measurable. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. it's a free word for the artist to yeah, say whatever. No, it's really lost. Yes, uh, yes, I see. It's <laughs>